Now let's take a look at tail sets labels and matrix flex labels. So tail sets labels are a classification labeling techniques which was introduced in the following paper. So a tail set is defined to be a group of assets whose return is in the highest or lowest quantile. For example, the highest or lowest 5% for given timestamps and the returns may be volatility adjusted. So if we actually start uh, Googling uh, so-called factor investing or long short portfolio, there is a quite common approach it is to um, rank our assets based on some factor value, for example, either side, size, momentum, or volatility. And you usually take long, long positions in your upper, upper quantiles and take short positions in your lower uh, quantiles. And this kind of strategies uh, has uh, generated uh, so many uh, various papers, and it is quite well known and used approach. So tail sets labelings actually helps us to implement that type of approach. So we label the variable using the tail set labeling technique, which makes up the positive and negative uh, classes uh, of the training data. So the original paper investigates the performance of three types of metrics on which the tail sets are, bit, uh, are built. Real returns, residual alpha after the aggression on sector index and volatility adjusted returns. So actually what tail sets labels do is that they rank the returns of your investment universe, for example, S&P 500 stocks, and for example, find top 5% of your securities in your investment universe, bottom 5%, so those securities which are in top 5% of returns uh, get uh, plus one label a value and those which are in bottom uh, quantiles uh, have minus one label. The rest are not, uh, uh, the rest of the securities are not labeled. So as we have discussed, you can either use raw returns or volatility adjusted returns. So the volatility adjusted return is just the daily return, which is divided up by the volatility estimate. So once the volatility adjusted returns have been calculated, we need to group the assets into quantiles. So the user inputs the number of quantiles desired using, using n bits input, and uh, the highest and lowest quantiles compose, uh, compose positive and negative tail sets respectively. So for example, if the highest and lowest octile are desired, then n beans will, uh, would be 10. So if, you, if your n beans values uh, equal to uh, 10, in this case, you will have 0, 10, 20, and 100 quantile. It's important to know that we drop zero levels for a given timestamp. So the rest, are, uh, the, the rest of the securities uh, are dropped and only train the model assets that made it into the tail sets. So, um, as we can see on this uh, graph um, here, what uh, tail sets labeling do is that they create the um, distribution of your uh, returns based on the returns of your investment universe. Uh, here we use the volatility adjusted returns. We rank them, we find the uh, top, for example, five quantile, bottom five quantile, everything which is more than uh, five, uh, top five quantile has as a label values of one. Everything which has a bottom uh, quantile had the label values of minus one. And based on that, we can train various long, short, or um, I don't know, um, factor type of portfolios. So there is a very important pro tip in using uh, tail sets labels is that the tail sets labels generate labels for the current day. So if you want to use them as a labeling technique, you need to lag them so that they can be forward looking. We recommend using the pandas data, data frame shift with the lag of minus one. So when you lag with minus one, you just shift your label in the future method. So in this case, your tail steps labels become forward looking. So let's take a look at uh, the uh, signature of this function in ML FinLab documentation. So as you can see, tail sets labels is a class which use prices 
as your inputs. So the prices is the data frame of your asset prices and bins, as we have discussed, is the number of bins to determine the quantiles for defining the tail sets. We top, uh, the, we top, the top and bottom quantiles are considered to be the positive and negative tail sets respectively. For wall adjusted flag, it means that we can either uh, uh, would like to use a standard returns or volatility adjusted returns. And the allowable inputs are none, mean absolute deviation or standard deviation. So we can either use uh, um, standard deviation as a denominator for a volatility adjusted return or mean absolute deviation. And the window. So the window period, which is used in calculation of the volatility adjusted return if the vol adjust uh, parameter is not net. So after that, you may use get tail sets function. And as we have pre uh, previously discussed, apply lag function uh, to determine the prediction, uh, the prediction time horizon you would like to train your model on. In this case, you can start building your long short uh, portfolio algorithm.